Welcome back. Business News is next. Here's Anne Wawodo. You first. First Bank. Thanks a lot, Amarachi, and welcome to Business News. The federal government says it's not relenting in its efforts to making Nigeria self-sufficient in agriculture. The acting president, Professor Yemi Shibajo, in his Democracy Day speech assured Nigerians that part of government's main focus is to produce enough rice to meet local demand by 2019. The CBN has approved the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria as the sole accredited agency for the implementation of comp competency framework in the banking industry. The president of the institute, Professor Shegun Ajibola, revealed this at a meeting in Lagos. And most markets across the globe are closed today following various celebrations and holidays in different parts of the world. But for some Asian and African markets that opened, trading finished mixed. Let's see the status of markets we tracked today. Well, thanks for watching Business News Night. I'm Anne Mwaudu. Back to you, Marachi. You first. First Bank. And we'll go straight to Sports News with Charles Aruka. Welcome to Sports News. English Premier League club West Ham have made a bid for Manchester City striker Kilichi Hanacho. Well, there are indications that West Ham are unlikely to meet City's sky-high valuation of £20 million for the Super Eagles attacker, but they are hopeful of getting a deal done after tabling a first formal bid, which is designed to get things moving. Over in Spain, oh, Giants, Barcelona have named Ernesto Valverde as their new manager. Valverde, who stepped down as Athletic Bilbao manager last week, had been widely expected to be Luis Enrique's successor at the Camp Nou, and his appointment was confirmed following a board meeting. Now to tennis. Defending champion Novak Djokovic has begun the defense of his French Open title with a 6-3, 6-4, 6-2 win over Spain's Marcel Granoyes. The 30-year-old Serbian without a tour title since January found little resistance from Granoyes, grabbing two breaks early on in the first set as he chased the 77th ranked Spaniard around the court. It's game set and match on Sports News and back to Amarachi with the rest of the news at 10. Thanks a lot, Charles. The leader of a protest movement in Morocco, Nasser Zersafi, has been arrested. He has been on the run since Friday when his arrest was ordered for by the government for interrupting a preacher. Morocco's Northern Rift region has been hit by protests in connection with poor economic opportunities for the past six months. The protests have now spread to the capital, Rabat. Long-standing grievances worsened in October last year when a fish seller in al Husima was killed as he tried to prevent local officials from destroying his stock. The presidents of France and Russia met in the Versailles Palace near Paris in their first face-to-face -face talks. President Emmanuel Macron said he wanted to work with Russia over the conflict in Syria and the struggle against terrorism, while President Vladimir Putin says he wants to strengthen economic ties with France following years of restrictions. And the main news again. The acting president, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, today in a national broadcast promised Nigerians an improved economy and a country that works. According to the acting president, the Buhari administration has outlined three specific areas 
including security, the economy and how to curb corruption in public offices. Also today, Nigerians marked Democracy Day across the country, albeit on a rather subdued note. That's where we ended tonight. Thanks for watching the News at 10. I am Amarachi Ubani. Good night. <laughs>